Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back with the first week of uh, March read, start from the 1st through the 7th of March, 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Libra. So let's see how this week is going to be for the sign of Libra. I will be adding the uh, oracle cards in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that does resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So Libras, let's see what can you expect for the first week of uh, March time. Let's see what is coming up for you for the first week time. What is happening for you for the first week time? Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Wow, a message of good news is coming your way. It can be uh, something in, in your love life, it can be something in your work life as well. But I feel like for majority of you, this message, this news, this uh, communication that is happening is going to come through in your love life. It's going to be like something that you waited. Uh, there was something that you were dealing with. Uh, when it comes to your love life, which was making you feel kind of very upset, very much like a left alone situation where you felt like maybe your person was ignoring you. Maybe they were like not talking to you. Maybe you felt like, you know, the connection is over at, as well for some of you, because with the Ten of Swords, the clarifier came out to be as um, Five of Pentacles. There was a situation that you basically left and move, uh, move forward. Uh, and I feel like, you know, this, this, uh, this, uh, situation that is evolving, this, that is changing is coming up for you in your love life, a message of a person, a message where you have a chance or an opportunity coming your way where you can, uh, you know, uh, start something new with the same person. I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, there is a divine help coming in that situation as well. Now, if you are completely single, I do see that for those of you out there who are completely single, maybe you were feeling that your love life will never change. This will will never happen that will never happen you will never meet the one uh, meet the one i feel like you know some sort of a message some sort of, a, sort of a communication is coming in for you where you are going to have an opportunity maybe to meet somebody new if you're completely single uh and get married or committed to that person very quick i feel like you know it's all going to be so sudden it's all going to be so uh, abrupt that you will not be able to understand what is happening here i do see major 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 shift coming up for you in your love life for majority of you, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a connection that you have always dreamt of. It's a connection that you have always wished for. But for others of you, maybe it is going to come as a, as a, as a new person walking into your life. And this person, this uh, situation that is changing in your love life, the message that is going to come through for you, it's gonna bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Uh, with Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups, I do see that the tension, stress, anxiety that you are having around your love life is definitely removing here. And I feel like, you know, you are going to feel very stable, very happy because something beautiful like commitment, marriage, engagement, nothing less, less than that is coming through for you, which is going to add a lot of stability to your love life overall. So for majority of you, I feel like, you know, it's going to be coming from a past person, but it can be a new person as well for some of you. Let's see more cards here. Um, Knight of, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. The chariot, I do see very quick movement. Yep, somebody's getting married very soon. Marriage, engagement, commitment, nothing less than that. I feel like you know it's gonna come in very quick. Um for some of you, this this communication that you are having, it can be a situation where your friend is going to hook you up with someone new. Uh, that could be the case for some of you as well, especially if you're feeling bad, lonely, and I feel like you know, maybe you're going to be like meeting a friend of yours and then you talk about it and then they they make you kind of meet someone or maybe they're going to come along with their friend and uh, when you meet that person that person is going to prove to be the one for you so i feel like you know something or someone which which you are destined to be with is definitely coming in your love life now it can be a past person for some of you as well wow underneath the deck we do have the king of souls underneath that we do have the high priestess six of wands the five of cups the sun I feel like, you know, again, if it's a boss person, I feel like, you know, this person might have kind of, uh, um, kind of ignored you, kind of uh, made you feel like maybe you are not like, you know, going to make it with this person. And I feel like, you know, again, whatever it was, it's definitely ending. This person is reaching out. This person is communicating. Let me take one card for this person's energy here. 
Communication is coming in with the eight of wands. Growth, communication definitely is happening for the two of you in this week time. For majority of you, I feel like you know it's going to happen in the very beginning of the week time, and then situation is going to stop quickly moving forward with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Let's see some more cards here. But I do see that you will be getting engaged or married very soon. I feel like you know very soon means maybe for some of you you might get engaged or committed in this very week time with this person. <clears throat> Let's see what else is happening for you. It seems like, you know, um, for some of you, if it's a new person coming in, maybe you are going to stay stuck for, for not taking that offer, uh, by not taking that offer, because you would be wanting somebody from the past to come in. So just be mindful. Whatever you are doing, know that you are doing it right. Um Yes, I feel like, you know, for those of you who are dealing with a new person coming your way for, for marriage, for commitment, for engagement, you will have that tendency though, that, no, I don't want to take this offer because I want to be having this offer coming from a past person. So that could be coming in for some of you as well. But I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, is going to be the one for you. We do have a lot of faces coming in again, Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands again. I feel like, you know, um, whether you like it or you don't, but this person is going to be the one for you. I mean, uh, if it's a new person, past person, it will be different for different uh, Libras out there. But I do see that whoever it is, this person is the one that you're getting married to. Um, be that a new person, past person, it's going to be different. But yes, I feel like, you know, this person, maybe initially you will not have like, you know, that kind of acceptance towards the whole idea of you getting married to somebody else. But eventually, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you feel so good because I do see you feeling very stable, happy, content after having this person in your life. Let's see um, what major shift can you expect other than this in your love life and this week time. The Tower. Wow. It's all going to be so abrupt. I feel like you know this is coming in very uh, unexpectedly as well. So let's see what else is happening. What else is the Earth card for you for this week time? <clears throat> mystery sense the mystery that exists around you now for some of you i feel like you know you can already sense uh if, if you if you spend some time alone you will be able to pick up some signs and messages coming from the divine you might be feeling unhappy you know uh, uh unexpectedly happy which 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 could be you know something very um un, uh, unusual given in the you know uh, being in the given circumstances you could sense that something is happening, something good is going to come through. So if that has been you, trust me, something magically beautiful is coming for you in your love life uh, in, uh, in uh, this week time. I feel like you know, this week is going to be very beautiful for you. And I feel like you know it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, success in love. And I do see you improving your life in, in many varied ways. Let's see more oracle cards here. What else is the message from the divine? You have a, you have what it takes if you believe in yourself, thinking of that you are powerless when you are when you are not. So for some of you, maybe you need to work on your self confidence right now, for because uh, maybe you are blocking yourself path because um, because of that. Like you know, maybe you need to work on yourself, and then only you can have what you desire coming with your person. Now for some of you, I feel like you know you are stopping or blocking your own path by not valuing and taking care of yourself. If you really want your love life to move forward and you're single or be there with the with a, with a specific someone, once you have worked on your confidence, I feel like, you know, your love life is going to move fast ahead. So try working on that and stop thinking uh, negative about yourself. Know that you're powerful and you can make things work. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So I feel like, you know, again, it is the same message as uh, as uh, it showed up with the sense of mystery card. Um, I feel like you, know, you can sense that something beautiful is coming in. And uh, if you listen closely, if you listen to your inner uh, knowing, you will know that something beautiful is going to happen for you. Uh, let's see more. Oracle cards, let's see what else is coming up for Libras. Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, you could be dealing with Aries, Libra, Capricorn as well. Sorry, Aries, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra as well. But as I said, um, accidentally, you have met the one. For majority of you, you have met the one. So this person, whoever it is, new or a past, it is. it can be a new person for love life, but maybe you have already met them. Let's see. Wow. So let's take all of them. Um, then we have... 
Don't let clouds get in the way. Don't confuse yourself with anything negative. Mutual understanding is needed. Now, whatever, uh, you know, or whoever is going to come through, I feel like, you know, mutual understanding will be the base to, or the, this, you know, foundation that, uh, that you're going to put to, you know, in the, uh, you know, for this connect, uh, for this connection that you have. Don't settle in for less. You know, you deserve the best. And I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, you are not going to settle in for less because I do see you as the empress there. So you are accepting something which is beautiful. So just, just if something beautiful comes in, know that you are worthy of it and take it. Stop overthinking right now. For some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign as well. So that was the last card which just uh, fell down. I will be picking that up later on. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time. If it helped you, do like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you are willing to purchase any of the services um that i offer you can uh check the description box for that and hold on yeah so till i do the next read for you guys take care and bye bye <clears throat>